Health officials are sounding the alarm as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. 3,675 new cases were reported Thursday. That is the highest single day count since the start of the pandemic. The state says that the count included some cases that would normally have been counted later today because of a glitch. The state also reported 41 additional deaths, including 22 from a review of vital records. And this morning, the state is imposing new COVID-19 restrictions at bars and restaurants. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper breaks down the new rules. State health officials revised and extended its epidemic orders to stop the spread of COVID-19 and the new drastic steps concerning to bar and restaurant owners right here in Court Town. Michigan health officials are ratcheting up pandemic restrictions as a second wave of COVID-19 batters the state. Hospitalizations have doubled over the last 21 days and the reported death rate has increased for five consecutive weeks. We are at a critical yeah. time in this pandemic. We are now in the midst of another surge in cases. Dr. Caldoun with the state's Health and Human Services announced new orders to stop the spread of COVID-19. Employees at restaurants and bars must now collect names and numbers for COVID contact tracing and no more than six people can be seated at a table. Bob Roberts co-owns McShane's and represents Court Town's Business Association. Personally, I think that it's a, uh, you know, it's a, a huge invasion of privacy. Um, and so the, the, the real question becomes, what happens if somebody refuses to give it to you? Currently, there are 12 outbreaks in Michigan associated with bars and restaurants. Roberts says many businesses in Corktown can't afford another shutdown. Well, it's a challenge every day. Um, entrepreneurs have a, have a tendency to be planners and to always look to the future. And obviously, we're not in control of our own destiny right now. Our overall case rate in Michigan is at 172 cases per million people per day. That has been increasing for six weeks. Our seven day average for cases is more than two times higher than it was a month ago. Restrictions were also put in place for indoor gatherings such as weddings, parties and banquets from 500 to only 50 people. A violation of the order could cost you up to $1,000. In Court Town, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. We're now just four days away from Election Day and the candidates for president are making a final push right here in Michigan. Today, President Trump is set to hold a rally at Oakland County International Airport in Waterford Township. And this comes just days after thousands cheered him on in Lansing. The president is scheduled to speak at 1 p.m. We will be streaming it live for you on WXYZ.com and on our Channel 7 Facebook page. Meantime, Democratic challenger Joe Biden is expected to return to Michigan tomorrow, along with former President Barack Obama. We're still waiting to hear where they will be stopping. All right, welcome back. Good morning. It's a cold morning. It's in the upper 30s right now, and the clouds are going to be decreasing as we go through the day today, but expect some cloud cover this morning. I'm also keeping a slight chance of some showers, uh, especially across the thumb, but this could include Mount, Clem Mount Clemens and all of Macomb County up toward Port Huron. So the wind's still out of the north coming off of Lake Huron, and for that reason, there may be a shower or two this morning all the way through about noon today, but the trend will be drying out, decreasing clouds, and just a cold day. Temperatures right now are in the 30s and we're only going to warm up to the low to mid 40s this afternoon. So Lakeshore Flood Advisories continues for uh, St. Clair and Sanilac counties until 10 o'clock this morning with the wind still out of the north or northeast. The wind's going to shift more out of the northwest by this afternoon, about 10 miles per hour or so, but it's just cold. So make sure you have a heavy coat. Make sure the, hit, the kids have uh, gloves too today because we're only going to be at 41 degrees by noon, 43 degrees by 4 p.m. Clearing skies into the evening and then tonight temperatures fall to 30 degrees overnight. It's just going to be a cold, calm night. So high school football this evening, I mean, expect temperatures in the 30s by 7 p.m. Basically right after the sun goes down, it's going to be in the 30s. So at least winds will relax a bit, but it's going to be real cold uh, tonight. So a few spotty showers through noon today as the wind shifts out of the northwest, we dry out. I'm going to widen out because tomorrow is sunny and dry for Halloween. It'll be near 50 degrees. This storm system we're going to keep an eye on for Sunday and Saturday evening for trick or treaters. Mid 40s, clear skies. The wind's not bad, about 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the south. Watch what happens Sunday morning before before sunrise rain showers move in a cold front moves in changing to snow showers Sunday afternoon. Sunday is going to be an ugly day. It's going to be windy and we're going to have falling temperatures through the day. Rain showers may mix with snow showers throughout the day Sunday. Right now it doesn't look like anything sticking, but 
it's going to be kind of a changing day for us Sunday. Then Monday is a cold day again with the high 44. We'll warm back up and dry out. Looks dry all of next week. Tuesday and Wednesday warming up. We'll have highs near 60 by Wednesday.